Welcome to The Boiling Point. I am Richie Ware and this is Mike Leeming, a special guest from California, Parker Boiler. So we're excited to have him. You can see in the background, we are actually having a combustion school. These guys are out here working on the burners with Scotty and Jude. So if you haven't done that uh, school yet, make sure you sign up. Go out to wearinc.com and go to the Boiler University training site and you'll be able to see a little bit more about the training. Well, Mike, we are excited that you're here. Um, you guys donated a boiler to us uh, for this school, for our lab. Well, you're welcome. Um, Thanks. We're, we're honored to be part of this array of different designs of boilers. You've yeah. got fire tube, flash steam generators, other water tube boilers, deaerators. This is a, a awesome facility. Yeah, no, and we appreciate that. We appreciate you being a part of it and being able to, to just, uh, you know, offer us a, a great piece of equipment that you guys have. Interesting thing about Parker Boiler, I mean, you're in California, all right? So a little right. bit different than Kentucky, right? Well, the weather's about the same right now, but okay. I imagine in the summer and the winter, it's not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I'm sure it's a lot better out it's there. Is the national bird a, a mosquito? Is it? Uh, <laughs> you know what? Yeah, it gets, uh, they actually get pretty good size here and, uh, yeah. and, and bust us. So. But I love your traffic. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's true. California traffic is awful. Oh, it's terrible. Well, the, on the boiler, um, you guys, uh, Parker Boiler's been around a long time. Why don't you just 100 years now. 100 years, So wow. we, we started um, making package boilers for the hat industry where people in the 20s wore hats. So okay. it was the first package boiler with a safety valve and a, a thermocouple, and you could, it wasn't just throw a match under a bunch of uh, newspapers and heat up a kettle. Yeah. This was actually the first package safe boiler. So uh, now we're awesome. just celebrating our 100th year yep. this year. And you all and do we're things. in Los Angeles, California. You all do things in um, uh, we do all stuff the all over the world, like yeah. Disney. I mean, you yeah, do a lot of amusement kinds. parks yeah. and uh, breweries and institutional hospitals. You know, we uh, we're famous for the California Special. This is this is kind of the California Special you guys have here. It's probably uh -huh. our most popular boiler because in in the state of California, if you could put a 19 nine and a half horsepower together, you don't need an attendant. Oh, okay. So people okay. look at the operating cost, you know, of hiring three shifts at a prison, sure. you know, so now you don't have a warm body That's at awesome. all. That's awesome. Well, let's talk a little bit about the boiler. I, yeah. I, it's an atmospheric boiler. I'd like for you to really kind of just chat a little bit about what an atmospheric boiler is. is well, is, uh, is. Um, our, our, our actual atmospheric boiler is just a, a simple like barbecue burner. It's got a, a little orifice on the bottom with a venturi with nine slots in it, and, it's, and there's no fan assist, it's just the, uh, the velocity of the gas going that mixes the air and it, it goes. And the, the nice thing is you don't have a uh, fan to, uh, with a parasitic energy loss. You don't have air fuel ratio, uh, like mechanical linkages that get out of, uh, out of uh, whack. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you've got a much more even uniform heating surface. Okay. Now in California they required in the 80s that everything be low emission. So we developed a fan assisted atmospheric which is what this unit is. It actually blends the air and the gas into a plenum and then goes into a synthered metal fiber burner which is a very cool flame. It's mm -hmm. a radiant flame but it's a very cool flame so it doesn't allow knocks to form. So this unit uh, standardly is sub 20 knocks and okay. we, we, with this same technology with parallel positioning like this on this boiler it could be tuned for sub nine. Okay. All right, so, so right here we've got our tubes. So it's a, we make only water, flexible water tube boilers. Okay. So you've got the fire on the outside and the water's on the inside. The advantage is it's very low water inventory. So from a cold start, this will be at 100 PSI in less than 10 minutes. Mm. So considerable fuel savings for heat up. And we have a 25 year guarantee against thermal shock, which means we, the weakest point of the tube is the bends. It calcs out to 923 PSI. And we guarantee for 25 years that if you empty the boiler completely empty with 350 degrees steam and put 40 degree water back into it, we have a 25 year non-prorated warranty. You can't destroy this boiler. And mm -hmm. you can't really do that with any other boiler that has more water inventory or no ability to flex. Cause right. you know, when you release uh, steam to atmosphere, it's very explosive. Sure, sure. Has a lot of potential. Then we have a half inch thick uh, steam drum that's half full of water. Okay. And, uh, and so you get a dry, a very dry uh, saturated steam coming off there. We've measured it at 99.9% .9 dry saturated steam. Whatever does not turn into steam, there's actually downcomers right here going tied into the mud leg again on both sides of the boiler. 
and the, and the boiler will actually self-circulate just from the natural convection of the heat and latent okay. heat that's going in there. So, um, and, and then uh, it's nice too, you can blow this boiler completely down if you had you know, some scale buildup or some hardness or TDS, you have right. the ability to completely empty this boiler all the way dry and refill it. Now okay. we don't recommend doing that every day because sure. you want to keep good, clean, deoxygenated water in the boiler. Sure. So this, this, this is what we have. This has the built-in feed system. So we uh, basically build a condensate receiver tank or boiler feed system that's rectangular and we can bolt it right onto the boiler and we pipe it and wire it at the factory. So that part of the mm. installation is done. It's what yeah. we call our compact mounting. Sure. Now we've, uh, we've, we've uh, uh, put all the bells and whistles, power, cruise control, <laughs> you know, sunroof. We put yeah. everything on this yes. thing. I mean, you've got electric water fill valve instead of a float control that's more accurate and it doesn't wear out like a moving part of a float. We put a solenoid valve on here because a typical water tube boiler, when it cools, it likes to siphon sometimes and you end up with too much water in the boiler. If you don't have a gravity drain, now there's no way to get it out. Okay. And uh, all our boilers are uh, uh, either UL or ETL listed per 795. So it's a complete gas fire boiler burner assembly and it's listed for that service. Hmm. So, and, and we also uh, meet ASME CSD1 on, on, on all our boilers. Now this particular boiler, just so that everybody knows, what type of applications would you actually use something like this? Well, you could use it, they're still pressing vinyl records. Mm. Um, there's a hospital for sterilization, for a microbrewery, for you know, cooking the, uh, the yeast and the mash tun. Right. Um, you could use it in a distillery, small distilleries are popping up all over where they just need like a little 25 horsepower steam boiler. Uh -huh. Um, dry cleaners, dry all cleaners. used. Yeah. Um, the valets in the hotels, maybe the laundries in the hotel. We went to uh, the building today had two Parker boilers in it, mm -hmm. uh, the Brown building yep. for yep. their laundry. Yeah, and at a and hotel. At a hotel. Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, we call that on-premise laundry. Okay. So it's you know their own laundry on their own in, in their own building. Sure. Um, there's all oh, there's countless. I mean there's. Um, there's, there's people that are making food marijuana products with steam now, mm. you know, edibles. Mm. And, edibles, uh-huh. And, uh, um, you know, sterilizing dirt is becoming another thing. Instead of using chemicals to do it, you use the steam and kill all the bacteria in the sure. dirt. Sure, sure. Humidification, you know, uh, for dates or, or for uh, uh, smoked meats or things like that. Yeah. Well, it's always good to be able to just kind of let people know what all of these are used for. Because, again, I mean, yeah, you know, we want to certainly recognize Parker Boiler, but we also want to be educating out there on what it is that, how this boiler is used. So I appreciate you going through all The that. one thing we always brag about is it's the last boiler you have to buy because it's a modular design. Mm. So, you know, there's no welded uh, parts that you have to take out as the pressure vessel. If you had to replace these tubes because you were careless with the water treatment, you just disconnect these unions and the tubes slide out and you can just put a brand new bundle in. Oh, wow. And you don't have to have an R stamp or any sort of certification sure. in most states to do the repair. Yeah. Same with the drum. I and mean, when you sell the drum by itself, you can put a new drum in it, but half inch thick drum is gonna be, you have to be really abusive on it to where, you know, erode out that drum. And I really like the finish of what you all do with your product. I mean, just a very sharp, uh, sharp boiler. Thanks. We, we uh, you know, in Calbina, California, we have challenges with the coatings, and now we've gone to a two-part epoxy. So mm. actually, the new paint is even shinier, shinier and nicer. It's still a yeah. baked, uh, a baked-on finish. Right, right. But right. Uh, yeah, well, good. Well, we certainly appreciate all the uh, information about the about the unit, and um, you know, make sure you get back to Kentucky soon. So, Richie, thank you very yeah, much. Always appreciate appreciate all you do. appreciate being here. All right, man. All right. We will talk to you later, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Appreciate Mike hanging out with us today in the lab, talking a little bit about the Parker Boiler. Now, we're going to be at Power Gen in New Orleans on November 19th, 20th, and 21st. Make sure you stop by our booth, get your free T-shirt. Not going to tell you what it is. You got to come to be able to find out what we're doing on our T-shirt. Well, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, share the videos and go out on our website and look at all the different videos that we have out there. Brent with the Steam Culture, Jude doing the weekly, bo uh, weekly boiler tip. And we will see you next time on The Boiling Point.